This is a brand new Audi Q8. Hello everyone, welcome to External Star Channel. My name is Marek and today I will be unboxing this Audi Q8, a brand new, it just came in and actually I have never seen this car before so today it's really for the first time when I will have this amazing opportunity to uh, unbox this car and see what is actually inside, okay? This car is probably not yet even produced by Audi. I'm not sure if this is sold, probably not yet. Uh, but the model is already available and I had this great opportunity to already buy it and uh, I'm really grateful for that. Today uh, I will show you what is inside and I'm really, really wondering what will be the quality of this car. Wow, look at that, look at that. Okay, so it's really nicely packed, I must admit. And there's a lot of mess, sorry for that. Okay, so now how to open that? It's group, group seven. What does that mean? Group seven, international logistics, okay? Whatever that means, I will just carefully remove that and I can actually already see the car. Okay, the, there was one more layer, it's here. A little bit difficult to unbox it, but here we go. Okay, let's just clean it up. And here, there is one more piece. Okay, look at that. So beautiful. And I will have now the chance to open it for the first time. Maybe before I do that, I will just check the box, Audi collection. And here, uh, what does it say? This product is an accurate scale model and not a toy. Okay, so it's uh, for uh, 15 years old and older. Choking hazard, so if you are uh, 14 or 13, you could die if you actually play with this one so don't do that okay we don't want to risk anything so i'm not advising anyone to play with it it was done uh, probably in china wow it says here only germany but ah here made in china you see like any other model i have i would be really surprised if something was uh manufactured somewhere outside of China okay all right so here we go let me just take it out of the box it's really difficult to pull it out okay so here we go and now let me just remove the top cover and actually there are no screws probably no there are four of them four screws but first before i remove those screws check it out it's really beautiful very beautiful and now i will just put it back uh, turn it upside down and now i will uh, remove those screws okay Okay, so there were actually four of them and now uh, it's removed. I will again turn it. Hopefully, wow, these screws are so long. Very long indeed. And now again removing the top cover and now finally the car can be taken out of the box. Okay, so let me just take those screws and put this aside all right so this is it uh, and this is where also my review will start it's beautiful
All right, so let me now first uh, check the front part because I think this is the most interesting part ever and on every car uh, that's the famous part because we have the uh, logo here and we have the Audi logo here then we have the German license plate D for Deutschland or Germany part of European Union and then IN for Ingolstadt that's the city where these are produced and Q8 yeah that's the new Q8 uh, from Audi and 002 I have no idea why they selected 002 probably uh, this is the second uh, produced model ever uh, out of this Q8 series okay and then if you are really uh, into details you also see Quattro here it's very tiny but uh, Quattro means uh, 4x4 or all-wheel drive yeah it's all the same uh, but I think Quattro this is licensed only by Audi so they can only use it and then uh, we have this perforated grill here uh, you see there are really some uh, deep holes and we can also see the ventilator behind the grill uh, however uh, some of these holes are not perforated like here 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 and here the reason I don't know and probably we are also missing here any parking sensors there is no camera anywhere so maybe also check uh, how the real car looks like and if there is a parking sensor and indeed there is okay now uh, about those headlights and these are pretty well done uh, you can see all those lines there um, and there is also significant depth in this headlight so this is something which I like very much and then there is also one more air intake here and uh, I don't like this one at all. This is just one piece of plastic. It's not perforated and it's actually very ugly and uh, I think if AutoArt was to make this model it would be much uh, better done. Okay, but the rest is quite okay. Uh, it's nice, sh nice and shiny all those lines here. So if we have this look from the front, it's a very nice car indeed. Okay, then uh, I usually also review here uh, the wheels and here, oh, it's quite soft, uh, it's rubber and uh, it feels like a real wheel, okay, so these tires are quite okay and we also have uh, the brake, brake discs without any holes, so I'm not sure if the real car has holes, but it's not here and then we have the brake caliper okay so all those details quite nice I would say and I, we can also uh, turn the wheels and yeah it's like 30 35 degrees uh, so it's okay and then we have uh, the doors and uh, all those details here so we have the front doors they can be opened and also the same with the rear doors and as you can see when we open it uh, there is no frame to those doors which is also a very nice feature because it's more like a sports car it's actually a sports SUV uh, the highest SUV uh, made by Audi so it's quite fresh and uh, I think this is the 2018 or 19 model and it's not yet available so I think you can only pre-order it and now what I also see here that those lines yeah, it are quite nice only here uh, I think the gap is a little bit larger yeah nothing nothing big but it could be a bit uh, smaller here okay and now um, here uh, you can see this um, glass door this cannot be opened at all yeah it's just imitation of door but it's actually one piece and then when we slowly go to the rear part uh, there is this huge uh, real light which covers the most of the rear part so it's uh, really long and it's connected here with this part and it looks really amazing yeah, and it also reminds me of some sports cars because also when you see this SUV uh, I would say uh, how tall it is not that significantly tall yeah it's more like uh, 
a little bit higher um, sports car. Maybe it's not really an SUV <laughs> because uh, it's so like not that tall, not that high. But they still uh, sell it under this Q line, and Q is always SUV, and this SUV it's a sport SUV. Okay, so don't expect that. Uh, you would be driving this somewhere in a desert, no, no way, this is only for roads and it's quite speedy and sporty. And then you have this uh, wiper here, there is only one, uh, quite well done, and when I check this glass here, uh, there is no net or, you know, sometimes there is glass heating uh, in that uh, window but there is no heating in this one okay so maybe also on the real car uh, there is no visible heating and then we have again the Audi logo here the same uh, license plate uh, Q8 and uh, we actually have no information about the engine sometimes uh, on one side we have the model Q8 here on the other side we have the engine it's not here at all and then we have again this part and this is just showing us uh, where we can attach the hook okay and there are uh, some more uh, lights here and then we also have the exhaust so you can see here but it's really shallow and there is no hole and I'm now wondering why there is no hole okay oh god look at that actually uh, these exhausts are fully fake because it's ending here okay so it's leading all the way down here to the rear but instead of being ended here uh, where all the cars have it instead it's going uh, all the way down yeah so the exhaust the real exhaust is here the fake one is here and the question for you why do they still keep this fake exhaust yeah it's there is no purpose uh, they could just remove it and it would be so nice without those fake uh, imitations. Okay, so Audi Audi. <laughs> Not really great idea. Okay, so that's basically the exterior of the car and now of course uh, you are also interested what is uh, inside, right? So let me uh, directly open the hood and see what is under the bonnet and Okay, it's quite it can be opened quite easily and let me also a little bit switch the camera here all right so we have this is it v6 or v8 okay it says v8 tdi so that's a turbo diesel uh, with eight cylinders made by audi and actually this is the only significant detail uh visible under the hood okay then we also have here uh some compartment for liquids and here that's probably uh, I don't know some kind of filter for example I don't know where is the battery I don't see it anywhere and here you can change the oil uh, typically this is yellow and here probably somebody forgets to color it by yellow color and yeah there is only one cover here so we don't actually see the engine itself we only see the cover and then probably somewhere here uh, there is the ventilator but also not visible and then uh, all those pipes all those cables this is just one part and not really nice also here this part so overall uh, under the hood this is not so beautiful I would say yeah, also here those dots or bumps I don't know what is the purpose and also here uh, I would expect that there would be the lock uh, to somehow lock this bonnet to it uh, it's missing okay so huh, this is way below average okay so that was uh, the engine and now of course you are also interested what is uh, here and okay I don't want to break anything so very slowly and gently I am opening it and look at that and look at that so let me just focus here all right so we have here this part but uh, this is just the cover uh, if you don't want to scratch you know uh, the paint then uh, all the manufacturers typically 
use this to cover here uh, this loading part but this actually is gray and it should be a little bit much more shiny uh, more reflective uh, I don't like this part so much also here uh, this part this is not so great and inside actually there is no carpeting not at all and also this part uh, it cannot I repeat cannot be moved at all okay so there is one more thing somewhere here no this is just some piece of plastic but there is no use for that okay so don't expect any surprises in the trunk and now uh, because I think you are already interested uh, regarding the interior so let me just open the car to check and I will again uh, shift the camera a little bit to give you a better view okay nice nice okay that's not so bad I will also open the second side so that more light is coming in and uh, I can also show you all those details. So we have the steering wheel here with the Audi logo and there are also some very nice details on the steering wheel. Then here we have um, this middle console with all those small details and actually here we have one screen here and a second screen here. And maybe now time uh, to show you the real car how it looks like before we continue. <laughs> Okay, so you see that this is a modern car with the displays everywhere, you know, one here, second here, also the cluster gouges, everything is so electronic, LCD displays only, and it looks like a space machine from 2050, but actually uh, the year is 2018 and I'm showing you a brand new Audi Q8. And here you can also see those buttons here uh, to uh, position uh, the uh, driver's seat and maybe also one more important thing look at this mirror here it's so nice and reflective this is how uh, every manufacturer of models should uh, do those mirrors this is just beautiful and this sticker it's uh, it looks like a glass even if this is just a sticker but the best sticker i have ever seen the best reflection this is simply nice all right so now the doors and how it looks like all right so you see that uh, we have some metallic details here so that's uh, quite nice shiny you have the door handles here then you have the uh, windows controls so that's power windows here and uh, I don't know what this actually this part and then uh, there is also a compartment here so you can place your bottle of whiskey there and then you have a big very big speaker here okay so probably also the audio in this car would be very very good because sometimes uh, the bigger also means the better okay so let me also show you a little bit the uh, second row of the seats no surprises no surprises at all and actually uh, I would a little bit more prefer uh, uh, the light interior uh, I think it's it's not white but it's some kind of beige or uh, light brown uh, here everything is so dark and sometimes uh, not all the details are visible okay so now for example here is this imitation of wood or is this plastic I don't know uh, and here even the glove box is not visible at all because uh, it's so dark yeah also this imitation of leather when I touch it uh, it's so plastic I don't like how it feels okay so the interior is not so bad but I don't know I don't know why they chose this dark uh, interior especially if the real car was presented uh, with a completely different color 
so uh, the real car it was uh, orange everywhere and the interior was also uh, very nicely done here we have this gray color uh -huh. and the interior is dark so I don't know that's not so pretty like uh, the one-to-one -one real car that was uh, presented by Audi okay so overall I think very nice beautiful and uh, one more thing that I also want to show you is actually uh, the suspension okay so first maybe uh, check the real car and how it can be moved up and down <laughs> and here uh, actually it's not working uh, like on the real car but still I want to check it and test it okay so here you see when I press it with all the power it's going way down it's like three millimeters and here on the front I think it will be the same okay yeah it's working so uh, this feature is there it's not uh, the complete uh, aero suspension like on the real car and okay but I will just show you one more thing here I just noticed that here this is not aligned this is not fully in line okay so there is this and I hate when something is even if I close the door open close and still there is this gap or yeah okay I already told you that this uh, rear door the quality issue here so quality control was a bit lousy here and they uh, didn't do their job properly or what do you think is this acceptable if you buy a model like this or not uh, I personally think that this is already maybe too much or not because if it was auto art or model maybe they would say okay that's not okay let's uh, do it again but here obviously it was okay and by the way this one uh, the price was actually 100 euro which is something like 115 US dollars which is not so expensive and uh, I quite like this pricing and it's really affordable uh, again it was made by Noref and uh, I would only say yeah that's a great model and what I really like so much about this one is that uh, it's brand new and you know I have never seen this car in reality so far and I think it will take a couple of months more before I, uh, I can observe a first Audi Q8 on the road so uh, for me uh, this is a great opportunity to already observe the car yeah. as a model so I think they should do it with all the new uh, cars to first also introduce it as a die cast and then uh, people will maybe buy it a little bit more Okay, so Norev, thank you very much and also uh, thank you for watching. Now I will also uh, show you a few more slides or a few more images from my diorama. Now it's time for the final rating.